J.K. Rowling has reacted after being mentioned in a J.K. Rowling diss track released by a trans activist, which sparked a row on Twitter after having been construed by many social media users as a death threat against the author. Twitter did not uphold a complaint against the track, deeming that it did not break the social media site's safety policies. The song, released by Faith Autumn, featured lyrics about killing TERFs, trans-exclusionary radical feminists, and stated, JK I hope you fit in a hearse, B. The Harry Potter author shared the music video herself on Saturday and told her 14 million followers, I'm afraid I can't give a shout out to everyone promising to murder me, there are so many of you, and I'm a busy woman, but this one deserves a mention for the 90s rave vibe. Actor James Dreyfus, best known for roles in Gimme 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 and Notting Hill, has been a vocal defender of JK and reported the track to Twitter's help center. However, Twitter ruled after reviewing the information that the song had not broken the site's rules and would not be taken down. James shared a screenshot of Twitter's response along with the caption, Surprise, surprise! So, death threats equals good. Saying women are women apostrophe equals bad. Congratulations! You have hit rock bottom. Seek help, he added. Some users agreed with James and questioned why that kind of content was allowed on the site. Lizzie said, I reported them as well. Perhaps if enough of us do it may make a difference. Josen Hey Girl echoed, why on earth is this acceptable to Twitter? And Beth asked, at Twitter at Twitter support death threats are okay? For real? However, others remained critical of the author with a user named the real row one writing, I'm sorry people are threatening your life for any reason. That's not okay. That said, you must realize how the things you say and do can be hurtful to people, especially people who were once some of your biggest fans. You can maintain your point of view without breaking hearts. While a user named Oatmeal pointed out, I guess it's cause there's a pretty clear difference between a hyperbolic statement and a credible death threat? And Slawhouse said, doesn't exactly look serious to me. While this looks very serious, and shared a screenshot of a 2020 essay written by JK in defense of her comments which were accused of transphobia. The excerpt of the essay read, So I want trans women to be safe. At the same time, I do not want to make natal girls and women less safe. When you throw open the doors of bathrooms and changing rooms to any man who believes or feels he's a woman, and, as I've said, gender confirmation certificates may now be granted without any need for surgery or hormones, then you open the door to any and all men who wish to come inside. That is the simple truth. Her essay was composed in response to furor surrounding the author's use of the phrase people who menstruate. She shared an article in June 2020 headlined, Creating a More Equal Post-COVID-19 World for People Who Menstruate. To which JK tweeted, People Who Menstruate. I'm sure there used to be a word for those people. Someone help me out. Wumpen? Wimpen? Wumud? Express? Co.uk has contacted Twitter for comment.